Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss some management case studies. We've already had a lot of lectures in the past where we talked about a lot of case studies, discussed a lot of case studies and I hope that you are way better off and you understand how to resolve, how to solve these case studies, how to come to the right answer, how to work on your elimination when we're talking about case studies. In case you have not seen the previous lessons, I would suggest that you go and watch them first and then come to these sessions because all these sessions are connected. Uh, if you are preparing seriously for the upcoming Armin SEBI examination, then I would suggest very strongly that you take these case studies uh, very seriously. Do not ignore them because they are going to directly impact your performance in the examination. With that word of advice, let's start with the first case study today. The case study is about uh, an internet based music radio company which, uh, which, which wanted to change the way we listen to music and change the way the music industry works on music. You can pause the video for a while and go through the entire case study because I shall not be talking about the entire case study here. These are the keywords that we have and I've highlighted these keywords for you guys so that you can understand better how to how to solve case studies by understanding and highlighting the keywords. It is one of the first music streaming and internet based music radios in the world. The idea behind the company's launching music radios was that customers would be able to listen to the music they preferred without any advertising breaks. They hired some employees and the employees were happy because they were working and relaxing through, through music at the same time. So there can be a question from this area as well. The data that these companies like Pandora especially in this case developed also helped artists to understand the fans that they were connecting with. Pandora provided a platform where fans could purchase tickets to the music concerts. So it was also helping the music industry and not just the customer. The question is Pandora is trying to link itself with its external environment. The external environment here being the customer as well as the music industry experts in order to achieve its long term objective. What is the term that is used in management to depict the linkage of the organization with its external environment? It's a beautiful, beautiful question that I've created here uh, with the help of my team. And we are so well, so beautifully taking uh, a case study and linking it with the basics, linking it with the conceptual understanding that you're expected to have. Now, the concept behind linking an organization with its external environment is called as boundary spanning. Typology, transactional analysis and globalization are no ways, in no way connected with linking of the organization with the external environment. You might feel that globalization also talks about linking an organization with the external environment, but globalization is more about taking inter-country taking inter-country initiatives in order to expand into di different nationalities. But in this case, we're not talking about different nations. We're talking about connecting with the external environment, whatever that might be. And that is what is boundary spanning. To understand through an example or through a, 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 a you know picture, leadership often stops where boundaries start. So here we have geographical boundaries. And when these geographical or other kinds of boundaries start, then leadership often stops there. The exact opposite response is required. The ability for, for leaders to bridge boundaries between groups in service of a larger vision on goal. So this is an example which tries to visualize boundary spanning through uh, geographical boundaries. But boundary spanning is not typically about geographical boundaries or jumping geographical boundaries. It's about connecting with the external environment. So boundary spanning BS is exactly similar to EI or external environment, sorry, external environment. So EE, external environment is equal to boundary spanning. So if you're getting into external environment, using it for your advantage, maximizing your sales and creating a business model by using the external environment successfully, then you are boundary spanning. Okay, let's come to the next question for today based on which three questions are going to be framed. It's about Fran who began her job as supervisor of training department of Metro Bank and Trust Company about four years ago. You've talked about this case study in the past videos as well. And this video will give you a better idea as to what all kinds of questions, all what all dimensions can actually be used 
by the examiner in RBI or SEBI in order to create a question out of a case study. You can pause the video and go through the case study. I have highlighted some keywords here. So you can pause the video, go through these keywords as well and understand for yourself how to highlight or how to understand what are the keywords that you have to be referring to from a case study. Let's come to the question. Money is acting as the motivator for Judy in the above case and therefore she is dissatisfied from the job under the supervision of Fran. Now this case is about, to summarize it, about Judy who is a secretary of Fran but she's been working like an administrator because Fran has been overloading her with work but the objective of Fran is to teach Judy as much as possible and to ensure that she's always high on the learning curve. Judy has liked it and has always been committed with her work but now she talked with a friend from some other department and there was some vacancy in the other departments which paid more as a secretary so paid more as a secretary and which all was also ranked higher in the rankings of postings in the company. So uh, the present job of Judy was ranked as a 12 whereas this new post was ranked as a 14 which was higher in case of this company. Okay. So because of this Judy is now dissatisfied with her job and she's come to Fran with her dissatisfaction and asked her to raise her salary and at the same time raise her position in the organization because she's working as hard as uh, the secretary post in the other department demands. The question here says money is acting as the motivator for Judy in the above case and therefore she is dissatisfied from the job under the supervision of Fran. Which of the following needs are not accomplished in the case of Judy as per Herzberg's model? Herzberg's model is very similar to Maslow's need hierarchy theory. It just says that there are certain dissatisfiers and satisfiers. So there are dissatisfiers and satisfiers. These are hygiene factors and these are motivators. So if your motivators are fulfilled, you are satisfied. If your hygiene factors are fulfilled, you are not dissatisfied. But that does not mean that you are satisfied. I hope you have understood and read about Herzberg's model in the past as well. In case you have not, please go through my PDFs or the book standard text and you will be able to understand it. As per Herzberg's model, B, physiological and security needs of Judy are not being satisfied. She has no concern for esteem needs. She has no concern for only for social and security needs. She doesn't care about social needs because her primary concern is the money that she is being paid. The secondary, the concern of she being ranked as a 12 uh, rather than a 14 in the nature of post or in the level of post is only a secondary concern which does not borrow, bother her much. Her primary concern is the pay that she is getting from the work that she is doing. Therefore, physiological and security needs are the primary concerns of Judy in this case. So the answer is B, physiological and security needs. <clears throat> Another question that can be created from the same case study. In the above case, Fran has been assigning more tasks to Judy in an effort to develop Judy's talents and abilities. Which of the following term of management can be used appropriately to define assigning of more tasks and responsibilities to Judy's job profile? So there is a job enlargement, which means horizontal uh, loading of responsibilities. There is job enrichment, which means vertical loading of responsibilities. In this case, instead of horizontally loading with more responsibilities, it has been made clear by Fran that she was trying to develop the skills of Judy and therefore giving her a variety of tasks. Therefore, this is a direct case of job enrichment. So our answer is C, job enrichment. The fourth question is, Judy is dissatisfied from the outcome that she is getting when compared to the efforts that she is putting in her job. Which of the following theories of motivation best depicts Judy's state of mind in the above case? You need to be aware about all these four theories in order to be able to answer this question correctly and also to be confident about your answer. Now what has happened here is, Judy is comparing the two 
uh, jobs that he has, num that she has. Number one, the present job where she is working as a secretary in the present department under Fran, and number two, the highlighted or the uh, recently, uh, recently a job has uh, uh, come up, which is in another department, which is also of the level of secretary, but has been ranked higher. And Fred knows that this job requires most responsibilities and skills. But Judy, on the other hand, is comparing her present job with the advertised job. So when you're comparing your job and your efforts with another job, then you're talking about equity theory. In equity theory, you can either compare your job with another job. You can compare your job with another job outside the organization. You can compare how much efforts you're putting in with efforts that another person is putting in. And you can also compare your efforts with the efforts that should have gone into it. For example, Judy might also have said that I am working on a 12 scale job as a secretary and let's say I'm putting in 16 hours on a daily basis. But this job actually requires me to spend only 10 hours per day. So this is also an example of equity theory, one of the elements of equity theory, the way comparison can be made by an employee or by a person. Okay. So the answer in this question is simply a equity theory. I hope you've understood it. Let's go to the last question for today. Which of the following theories of motivation are directly affected in the above case? Equity theory, Maslow's need hierarchy theory, Herzberg's model on motivation and Endorfer's ERG theory. Sorry, I have highlighted the answer already, but let me just tell you very briefly what all these theories are. Equity theory, as I explained very recently in the previous uh, question itself, it is about comparison of your job with another job inside the organization, comparison of your job with another job outside the organization, comparison of you with another person inside or outside the organization, or comparison of your performance with the required performance from the same job. So they, they can be multiple types of comparisons and all these comparisons can, uh, can, can create some kind of dissatisfaction, some kind of uh, anxiety in the person if there is no equity found. The second one is Maslow's need hierarchy theory. I hope you understand this. The most simple kinds of theories where there are five levels, there are physiological needs, there are safety needs, social needs, esteem needs, and then there are self-actualization needs. I don't think I need to explain them further. We've already talked about Maslow's need, uh, Maslow's theory in the past as well. So I don't think we need a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, explanation, a lot of work there. Okay. The next one that we have is uh, Herzberg's model on motivation, which talks about dissatisfaction, satisfaction. Dissatisfaction is caused by hygiene factors and satisfaction is caused by motivators. So when you are into hygiene factors and you're fulfilling everything, then you are not dissatisfied. But no dissatisfaction does not mean satisfaction. That's what Herzberg says. So Herzberg says there can be two sales, uh, two scales, dissatisfaction, no dissatisfaction, and there can be satisfaction and no satisfaction. So when your hygiene factors are fulfilled, then there is no dissatisfaction. When the motivators are fulfilled, then there is satisfaction. When the motivators are not fulfilled, then there is no, dis no satisfaction, but that does not mean that there is dissatisfaction. Okay. And then there is Elderfer's ERG theory. ERG can be expanded to existence, relatedness and growth needs. It's just another way of explaining Maslow's need hierarchy theory where he used other terms. So all these four theories are successfully used in this case because Judy is comparing her job with another job. Judy still lies in physiological needs. Judy still lies in hygiene factors and Judy among ERG models, she is in uh, existence uh, part of the model. She is in existence factors. She is not touching relatedness and growth factors. Okay. So this is all about this uh, session where we talked about uh, two case studies and five questions in total. I hope you liked it. If you did, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon to ensure that you do not miss any of the future videos, which are very important for your upcoming RBI and SEBI examination. Uh, if you want to know more about the crash course, you can contact me directly. The number I'm giving here, double nine, double nine, four, double six, double two, five. You can also contact me via mail 
or you can also visit the website www.anachindal.in. The crash course is focused on covering everything in the upcoming days for the examination via revision of the entire syllabus as well as revision of the entire current affairs for both phase 1 and phase 2. Till then, all the very best. Take care.